British star, two-time Oscar-winning actress, Glenda Jackson, died on 15 June 2023 at the age of 87. Jackson won the Oscar for Best Actress in 1970 for Women in Love, and again three years later for romantic comedy A Touch of Class. She also won the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a leading role for Sunday Bloody Sunday and won two Primetime Emmy Awards for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth I in the BBC series Elizabeth R. After stepping down as a member of the UK's House of Commons in 2015, she made a triumphant return to TV screens in the 2019 production Elizabeth is Missing and received both the British Academy Television Award and International Emmy Award for Best Actress. British stage and TV actress, Hayden Gwynn, died on 20 October 2023 at the age of 66. She was best known for her roles in comedy series Drop the Dead Donkey, which earned her a BAFTA TV nomination, Camilla in British sitcom The Windsors, and Lady in Waiting Susan Hussey in The Crown. Hayden Gwynn also had a celebrated stage career, being nominated for both Olivier and Tony Awards. Irish-English actor, Michael Gambon, died on 27 September 2023 at the age of 82. Gambon became a household name starring in the BBC series The Singing Detective but also played crime kingpin Eddie Temple in Naughty's thriller, Layer Cake. He gained wider recognition playing Hogwarts headmaster Dumbledore in a number of the Harry Potter films. His notable film roles include a mob leader in Peter Greenaway's The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her Lover, and the elderly King George V in Tom Hooper's The King's Speech. Over his six-decade-long career, he received three Olivier Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards and four BAFTA TV Awards. Irish singer and songwriter, Sinead O'Connor, passed away on 26 July 2023 at the age of 56. Sinead O'Connor became world famous with her heart-rending single Nothing Compares to You, released in 1990, which was named the number one world single by the Billboard Music Awards. Nothing Compares to You received three Grammy nominations and Rolling Stone named her Artist of the Year in 1991. She achieved chart success with Am I Not Your Girl and Universal Mother, both certified gold in the UK. Her first album The Lion and the Cobra, was hailed a sensation, reaching gold record status and earning O'Connor a Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance. BBC newsreader, journalist and television presenter, George Alagaya, passed away on 24 July 2023. He was 67. The Sri Lanka-born journalist joined the BBC in 1989. One of the BBC's best-known journalists, he presented the BBC News at six for two decades. George Alagaya was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2008 New Year Honours for Services to Journalism. Irish singer and songwriter, the Pogues frontman, Shane McGowan, died on 30 November 2023 at the age of 65. As the frontman of Celtic punk band The Pogues, he co-wrote the Christmas hit single Fairy Tale of New York in 1987. The song remains a perennial Christmas favourite in the UK and Ireland and was certified quintuple platinum in the UK in 2022. McGowan received a Lifetime Achievement Award from Irish President Michael Daniel Higgins on his 60th birthday. He also won the 2018 Ivor Novello Inspiration Award for songwriting and composing. Northern Irish actor, Ray Stevenson, passed away on 21 May 2023 at the age of 58. Ray Stevenson, a versatile actor, portrayed Dagonet in the film King Arthur and Titus Pullo in the BBC, HBO television series Rome. He was known for roles in Punisher, Warzone and Marvel's Thor films and appeared in several TV shows like Band of Gold, Peak Practice, Murphy's Law, Rome, Vikings and Dexter. English comedian and legendary TV host, Paul O'Grady, died on 28 March 2023 at the age of 67. O'Grady rose to fame in the 1990s with his persona Lily Savage. In the 2000s became the presenter of various television and radio shows, 
including ITV's daytime chat show The Paul O'Grady Show and Channel 5's Blind Date Reboot. A well-known animal lover, O'Grady presented ITV's For the Love of Dogs. British television presenter and actress, Annabelle Giles, dies on the 20th of November 2023. She was 64. Annabelle Giles was in numerous entertainment shows and a panelist on game shows ranging from Have I Got News For You to Shooting Stars and was a model for cosmetics brand Max Factor. She later became a best-selling novelist. English actor, Joss Ackland, passed away on the 19th of November 2023 at the age of 95. Renowned film actor has appeared in more than 130 film and TV roles. Joss Ackland was best known for Mighty Ducks, White Mischief, The Hunt for Red October and Lethal Weapon 2 and was made a commander of the Order of the British Empire for services to drama in 2001. English film director, Hugh Hudson, died on 10 February 2023. He was 86. He was best known for directing the Oscar-winning film Chariots of Fire, starring Ian Charlson, Ben Cross and Nigel Havers. The film was nominated for a total of seven Oscars and won four. Chariots of Fire is ranked at number 19 in the British Film Institute's list of top 100 British films. After Chariots of Fire, Hudson directed a number of other films starring high-profile actors including Al Pacino, Kim Basinger and Colin Firth. Hall of Fame musician, English guitarist, Jeff Beck, passed away on 10 January 2023 at the age of 78. A guitar virtuoso, who played with the Yardbirds, and whose fingers and thumbs were famously insured for £7 million, was an eight-time Grammy winner. Beck was ranked in the top five of Rolling Stone and other magazines' lists rankings of the greatest guitarists, and was called one of the most influential lead guitarists in rock. Scottish actor and musician, David McCallum, passed away on 25 September 2023 at the age of 90. He was known for his Emmy-nominated role in The Man from UNCLE, playing secret agent in the 1960s. Decades later, McCallum gained renewed international popularity for his role as medical examiner Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard in the American television series NCIS. On the big screen, McCallum had roles in films including The Great Escape, The Greatest Story Ever Told and A Night to Remember. English film director, producer and screenwriter, Anthony Hickox, passed away on 9 October 2023 at the age of 64. The iconic horror director was prolific in the 1980s and 90s, creating films such as Waxwork and its sequel Waxwork 2 Lost in Time, Sundown the Vampire in Retreat, Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth, Warlock the Armageddon and Full Eclipse. English professional footballer, the England and Manchester United legend, Bobby Charlton, died on 21 October 2023 at the age of 86. He was also a member of the England team that won the World Cup in 1966, the year he also won the Ballon d'Or. At international level he scored 49 goals in 106 appearances for England. Bobby Charlton still remains the third highest goal scorer for England. He was one of nine players to have won the FIFA World Cup, the European Cup and the Ballon d'Or. British and French actress, singer and fashion icon, Jane Birkin, passed away on 16 July 2023 at the age at 76. The London-born actress was best known for her partnership with songwriter Serge Gainsbourg, recording the iconic track Je t'aime moi non plus with him. It was a worldwide hit, reaching number one in the UK charts. Birkin occasionally appeared in English-language films such as Kaleidoscope, an adaptation of Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile, and Evil Under the Sun. In addition to her acting and musical credits, she lent her name to the Hermes Birkin handbag, which is popular around the world. British screenwriter and film director, Terence Davies, passed away on 7 October 2023 at the age of 77. He established himself with a trilogy of films Children, Madonna and Child, and Death and Transfiguration. 
Terence Davies achieved acclaim for his fictionalized autobiographies Distant Voices, Still Lives and The Long Day Closes, as well as literary adaptations including The House of Mirth and The Deep Blue Sea. English actress, Barbara Young, passed away on 27 April 2023 at the age of 92. The actress portrayed Doreen Fennec on the long-running soap Coronation Street. Barbara was also widely recognized for her portrayal of Stella in Last of the Summer Wine. She also appeared in Midsummer Murders, Family Affairs and played multiple roles in The Bill. English singer, Paul Catamol, died on 6 April 2023 at the age of 46. He was best known for being a member of the S Club 7, one of the UK's biggest pop bands of the late 1990s and early 2000s. The group had four UK number one singles including Don't Stop Movin' and Bring It All Back. Liverpool-born actor, Jake Abraham, died on 1 October 2023. He was 56. Jake Abraham was known for his role in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, Mean Machine and Formula 51. Legendary BBC football commentator, John Motson, popularly known as Motti, passed away on 23 February 2023 at the age of 77. John Motson was hired by the BBC in 1971 and became a regular voice on all the major football matches across a standout career in broadcasting. He commentated on over 2,500 televised games for the BBC. English critic, novelist and poet, Antonia Susan Byatt, passed away on 16 November 2023 at the age of 87. Byatt's most well-known work is 1990's Possession. The book won the Booker Prize. Byatt was mentioned as a candidate for the Nobel Prize in Literature. Her books have been translated into more than 30 languages. Irish musician, the co-founder and guitarist of Irish rock band The Script, Mark Sheehan, died on 14 April 2023 at the age of 46. Sheehan formed the group in 2001. The band had six number one albums in Ireland, five of which also topped the UK album charts. Irish boxing champion, Olympic medalist, Hugh Russell, passed away on 13 October 2023 at the age of 63. He won bronze medal at the 1980 Summer Olympics. Hugh Russell became a double British champion in the flyweight and bantamweight division. After finishing his pro career he became a renowned photographer for the Irish News. British actor and stuntman, Paul Grant, died on 20 March 2023 at the age of 56. The actor played an Ewok in 1983's Star Wars. As a stunt double, Grant appeared in Legend, Labyrinth and Willow. He also had an uncredited role as a goblin in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. British fashion designer and fashion icon, Mary Quant, who is credited for inventing the miniskirt, passed away on 13 April 2023 at the age of 93. One of the most influential figures in the fashion scene of the 1960s, Mary Quant is credited with making fashion accessible to the masses with her sleek, streamlined and vibrant designs. English football player and manager, Terry Venables, died on 25 November 2023 at the age of 80. As a player he made over 500 appearances for Chelsea, Tottenham, Queen's Park Rangers and Crystal Palace. He managed many clubs including Barcelona, Tottenham and Crystal Palace. After that Terry Venables took over the England national team leading them to the semi-finals of Euro 1996 where they lost to penalties against Germany. Massive Attack guitarist, Angelo Bruschini, died on 23 October 2023 at the age of 62. Angelo played for a number of bands, including The Numbers, Rimshots, and The Blue Aeroplanes and both toured and recorded as a member of Massive Attack. British writer, dub poet, actor and musician, Benjamin Zephaniah, passed away on 7 December 2023. He was 65. The dub poet was known for fighting social injustice. 
He acted too, playing the role of Jeremiah Jesus in Peaky Blinders. Benjamin Zephaniah published 14 books of poetry, 7 plays and 7 albums of original music. American-born British composer and conductor, Carl Davis, died on 3 August 2023. He was 86. He wrote music for more than 100 British television shows and programmes including the landmark TV series World at War and BBC's Pride and Prejudice, and later Cranford and Upstairs Downstairs. Everton chairman, theatre and film producer, Bill Kenwright, passed away on 23 October 2023. He was 78. Bill Kenwright combined the twin passions of football and theatre, as chairman of Everton Football Club and producer of West End and touring shows such as Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Blood Brothers and others. He also produced numerous films. English musician, bassist for rock band The Smiths, Andy Rourke, passed away on 19 May 2023 at the age of 59. Rourke played on The Smiths' most famous songs, including This Charming Man and There Is A Light That Never Goes Out. He was regarded as one of the greatest bassists of his generation.